if you're having sex with a woman right away, which most people do, she's not your friend, she's your drug addict. If you think, oh, I'm gonna have sex with this woman and then we're gonna be best friends, you're deluding yourself. You're not best friends with her, you're addicted to her sex. You have emotional feelings about each other. You don't know that person. All you know is the feelings that they give you. You know how she makes you feel, but you have no logical connection to this woman. There is no other reason why you would hang out with her. Say you're with this girl, right? And you're having sex and you think you're friends with her. You think y'all are best friends, right? Because you like being together because you give each other good feelings. Let's say one day she wakes up and where there was a vagina, a little penis starts to grow. We're just playing make-believe. We're just, it's just a thought experiment. Hang with me. <laughs> Imagine everything's the same. She's the same. Look the same, she even had boobs. All is the same, but a little penis start growing between her legs. And you can't have sex with her anymore the same way unless you, you know, you're having homosexual sex with her. Now, basically what you have is a small, skinny, fat, whiny dude that you're hanging out with every day. You'll run. You have to really ask yourself, what am I doing? Why are you here? My point is that if you stop having sex with your so-called best friend, nine times, especially if they're fornicating, that means she's not your wife, nine times out of 10, there's no reason for her to be in your life. Why? Why? What are you gonna do? What do you guys do together? You know, shopping together? What do you do? Go to the mall and eat ice cream together? What are you doing with a woman? I don't understand guy and girlfriends.